Hey guys, so in today's video, I first want to touch base with you. Um, a few of my boxes, I shouldn't even say a few, about two of my boxes have been opened uh, by the Amazon warehouse. And I just want to give you a little update on what's selling and where my numbers are right now. Uh, then I want to take you through something new that's going on right now that is actually in the space that I am sitting in. So let's get started. So far, I've uploaded $1,071 into Amazon of products that I've sold. The sales value to resell these items is $3,127. Here's a peek at the number of items that I've currently sold. I really love how Amazon shows you on the seller app how many sales you've made each day, what your sales values are, and then it even breaks it down day by day. So clearly that 3,127 in sales value doesn't actually take into account Amazon fees. So even considering that maybe half of that, which is being pretty generous, is going to Amazon fees, um, I still doubled my money in the things that I uploaded to sell. So obviously they haven't all sold yet. And that's because not many boxes have been opened. So I've sent probably between 10 to 12 boxes to Amazon. Um, and being in quarter four right now, the warehouses are completely just a chaos. I heard so many people say quarter four is such a bad time to start Amazon. And I thought to myself, why? Like this is the season that people are buying stuff. So why would it be a bad time? Because everybody's buying, so you're gonna have high sales. Well, now I'm seeing why. The boxes are just taking the warehouse three to four, maybe even longer weeks to get your products out of the box and scan into your Amazon Seller Central. So those sales that you just saw, those are only coming from one, maybe two of my 10 to 12 boxes. So I cannot wait for the rest of my boxes to be unpacked and uploaded into my Amazon Seller Central to really see what my sales are going to look like when I have this much inventory rather than this much that is right now out of the boxes. But I have to say so far for such a short duration of time, I'm pretty happy to see those sales and to see the hard work pay off because it really is hard work. I feel like so many sellers get like this bad rep lately. I've been watching so much content made by other Amazon sellers and even some content that I'm making myself and people are jumping on and being like, you guys are crooks. This is crazy. This should be illegal. What? This situation was actually brought to a courthouse and judges ruled that it is completely legal to buy something with your own money and then to resell it to somebody else because if they choose to buy it, they're doing that with their own money. So what is the big deal? What I seriously don't understand is the fact that people who have this mindset that Amazon sellers are doing something that's so horrible, where do they get their stuff from? Like where do they get their common grocery and household items from? Chances are it's probably a big name company like Walmart or Target or Costco. And where do these people think that Walmart and Target and Costco get their inventory from? They're using the same model. They are finding wholesalers to buy in bulk products from, which then they can resell to us at a higher price and make a profit off of. It's the same exact model. So for people to say like, oh, sellers are a crook. No, we're just giving you one more option to buy your products from. And if you don't want to buy them from us, that's fine. We're not forcing anyone to do that. So it's just blowing my mind lately to see like backlash come to people who are being entrepreneurs and trying to pay their rent by reselling on Amazon and then getting told that they're crooks. Like what? Everywhere that you buy stuff from is not the original manufacturer. They got it from somewhere for a cheaper price and you're buying it for a higher price. Same thing. Now, the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys, aside from what's going on with my Amazon Seller Central, is what's going on uh, with my apartment. So the house that I moved into last year has a two bedroom apartment above the garage. And we tried to rent it out, but it just wasn't really our thing. So it's just kind of been sitting here taking up space. Um, and recently it's actually been my Christmas factory. So all my Christmas presents have just been stored up here for the past couple of months. And that's really all that it's been used for. So let me show you what that looks like. 
So we have some presents here. Uh, a lot of boxes. I've been saving all of the boxes that I've received from buying anything related to Christmas presents because I know I can use them to put my Amazon stuff in. So save some money on some boxes. Uh, and then the rest of it is really just presents going on in this apartment. But I'm so excited because these last two months have been nothing less than amazing. Uh, they really have been, and I feel like they're going to be life-changing. Finding Amazon and learning about e-commerce has as you all know, if you've been following my journey, has literally consumed me. And it is something that I am growing to be so passionate about. So the fact that I have this Amazon business to consume any little bit of downtime I might have, I'm so grateful for. Speaking about being grateful, I just wanna take a second and say thank you so much to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel, uh, especially those of you that have been with me since like week one and just interested and here with me on this journey. So I really appreciate all of you and I see all of you and I just wanna genuinely thank you for being here. So now that I have Amazon, um, I need space. All of the products that I'm buying takes a lot of room. Uh, the supplies that I have, space to pack, space for my boxes, it takes a lot of room. So I'm so excited that I finally get to use this apartment up here. And let me just take you guys through like what I perceive as uh, doing for my plans here in the next future when I don't have to have this as a Christmas workshop anymore. So this space over here, I plan to use as like my office area, I guess you would say. So I'm gonna set up my table, and all of my laptop, my shipping stuff over here. So that's the work area. Now these rooms I'm pretty excited about. It's dark in there right now, but this one is going to be my shooting room where I get to shoot content. And then the room right here beside it, I plan to put some huge racks on both sides and use this as a space where I'm going to store my inventory while it's waiting to be packaged up to send to Amazon. Now, at the time of shooting this, I have just over 100 subscribers. So those of you that are watching it right off the bat might be thinking, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Why do you have a whole room dedicated to shooting content when you have just over 100 people watching you? But I'm actually super excited about a new project that I'm working on. So as I get a little deeper into that project, uh, it involves shooting more quality content. Um, for Amazon people and just people in general who are interested in making money online. So as I get a little further into that project, I'll explain it more to you guys. And that is why I need a whole room dedicated to shooting content because I'll be doing it a lot more. So that's all for today, guys. I hope that you found some value somewhere in this video. I know it wasn't very informative of teaching you anything, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on where I am in my journey, because after all, um, that is what I started this channel for, to let you guys know and to be as transparent as possible and tell you exactly the good and the bad of what's going on each week with my Amazon Seller Central account. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Or if you have some ideas of what you might like to see for content in the future, put those below because I'm always interested in hearing your ideas. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe to my channel. Bye.